Ene ko jo de nyahu o wa che Ene ko jo de nyahu o wa che o Ene ko jo de nyahu ene ko jo de nyahu o do ba du wa yo nu o nu la wa je o Ene ko jo de nyahu o wa che Ibaji used to be a district and fortunately some years ago Ibaji was created as a local government area and the former district that had uh, become a local government area now has three districts. The three districts also to get put together have 10 political wards in the districts and the wards all put together called Ibaji we have about 68 communities <laughs> things have changed not for better this time but for worse because the river niger is coming beyond the level that it used to come it's coming now in such a large volume that the whole place is flooded and when it is flooded it comes with all the devastation The farming has been helping me in short since I grew up. I mean, this farm, I get married, get six issues. I still been in the farm because I know what he has helped me. By the, the time we have faced all this crop in August, we look at the difficulty to take it to market. That is Ida. It's our popular market where you can see anybody to buy. But if uh, water flood come well, well, they carry engine, engine boat. They follow the, the there's a big uh, river here from Ida. They enter it and corner inside here. You'll be better for it. They will load yam, load uh, uh, corn, whatever they want to buy. They will buy, we'll full the engine and go back to Ida. <laughs> And I go yard and you go out. And I go yard and you go yard and you go to Badua. You know, you love. I
before from Ibaji to Ida, it's up to 20 minutes, you don't reach Ida. But now, up to two hours, you can't reach at Ida. Especially when rain falls like this, everywhere will be water, no way. This particular local government needs government aid. The road is bad. We started since morning by 10 a.m. and we've not even gotten to our destination yet. We're still on the road. As that now, you cannot travel from Ida to even Ibaji, to Onyedega, the, the headquarters of Ibaji local government, because of all these uh, ponds, because the road has been badly damaged as a result of a uh, flood. So the road is bad. We are cut away from other parts of the country, even from the past, other parts of the state. Ibaji is being cut away. And so there's nothing we can do now. If you want to move out from Ibaji, except you pass through River Nanja. And then if you are going to other parts of Ibaji, those that are in Hita land, they are finding it extremely difficult. How they, tra they transport their farm produce to nearby markets is a problem. Even how to get the farm inputs, like Ivet Laza, which is bulky has become a problem. They cannot go anywhere, wherever they reach, and they cannot move any longer. They drop them, and people will come and carry them, either by head or by motorcycle. From Odogu to Unale, from Unale to Ijogono, to Ijogono to, from Ijogono to Onyerega, we did uh, some little, little diversion to make sure our people get to headquarters, to the headquarters of Ibaji local government. So that is the little we were able to do. There can be a solution. One way is dredging of the river Niger. And when we say dredging, we mean making the river deeper. Not just throwing sand on the bank of the river. We are proposing, we are advising, we are pleading with the federal government to do some dams in the country. So that is not every drop of water that forms the flood that will come and overflow, overflow the Ibaji lines. Good morning, Provost. Thank you. It's a good to see you. Welcome. Thank you very much. The NT family, you're welcome. Yes, good to see you. Thank you so much. The flood water passed through forest, passed through the place we can call refuse dump site, where different type of waste, dangerous waste, waste that are carcinogenic, waste that are hazardous, waste that are industrial, uh, industri industri I mean, that are carcinogenic, they are all inside this forest, and the flood water carry them. They take them to the, the communities, and the communities may fetch this water for consumption. There can be outbreak of common communicable diseases, cholera. Are you following me now? So the communities should be educated. There should be intensive and extensive health education by the professionals, environmental health officers, on uh, the, the particularly on how the method of purification of water. Water should be purified. Water should be treated before consumption. <laughs> You will know that it got to a point that the, the road stopped. You understand? So it's not as if the state government is not doing 
But you just discover that, every, I mean, it cannot just be done in a day. It is, it is a project that is still ongoing. And we are trying to see how the road can be completed to Ibaji. Because we know that when you talk of rice in the state, honestly, rice coming from Ibaji, if well, and if, you know, well-funded, I would say it authoritatively that it can feed the entire state. When the flood has come, we can't get anything to buy in this area because we are all farmers. When you, you buy yam, there is something to take make soup. We can't get it because of the distance from here to Ida and the road is, is not good. There is no any other way you can get to Ida. That is where we suffer a lot. For that two months, the flood will stay before I go back. We suffer a lot. There is nobody will come this side. We will remain until the flood go before it started coming out.